Then after Jesus Christ, because he said, I'm going to send you another hero. I'm going to send you a counselor. His name is the Admirable One. His name is the Chosen. His name is the Praiseworthy. His name is Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And Jesus said in that upper room, he told his companions, don't be afraid, I got to go. I have to leave. So be it, after I leave, the comforter, the counselor, that admirable one, he will come. For if I don't leave, he cannot come. That's what Jesus told them. You will know him because when he comes, he will not speak of himself. But whatsoever he hears from God, that shall he speak. What does that mean? He will not come with his own words. He will not come with his own poetry, with his own ego, with his own ideas, with his own opinions. He will not come like that. But whatsoever he hears from God, that's what he will come with. Hear from God means what? What God reveals to him. By what? Inspiration, revelation. Second thing Jesus said, your hearts and your minds are not prepared for all the questions you have. So be it. When that counselor comes, he will relate all things to you in detail. That's the second thing he said about him. The third thing he said, you will know him because when he comes, he will speak of me. That's what he said. And the fourth thing he said, that which he hears from God will remain with you forever. Those are four conditions. Now the Holy Ghost or the angel Gabriel didn't fulfill those conditions. And certainly Jesus Christ did not come back and fulfill those conditions himself. So the question here is, who, what came after Jesus Christ that fulfills that prophecy? Only one man. First of all, let me tell you that this book has in it a chapter called Mary. Now who is Mary? Who is Mary? The mother of Jesus. So if a book that Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, claims that he heard from God, he didn't say, this is from me. I'm bringing you guys a book that I wrote, that I published, that I want you to read. No, he said, I heard a revelation from God. The angel Gabriel that visited all the other prophets brought me this revelation. So the characterization of this book is what he said, what he heard from God. Did Jesus say that? The second thing is, he said, your hearts and your minds are not prepared, but when he comes, he will explain all things in detail. The Quran says, verily this is a book that explains all things in detail. That's the second thing. Then he also said, he will mention me. The Quran has in it a chapter, which is called, the surah called Maryam. The chapter called Maryam. And in the chapter Maryam, the birth of Mary, it mentions first the mother of Mary. What's her name? Hannah. It mentions how Hannah prayed to God for a son, and that God gave her a girl. And when she asked God, oh God, you gave me a child that I prayed for, but it's a girl. I cannot give her to the priest of the temple for her to become a priest. God said, so be it. She will be one of the chiefs of the women in the hereafter. Who is that woman? Mary. But God gave to Hannah the boy she asked for through her daughter. So God gave her a double gift. Gave her a daughter that will be the chiefs of the women in the hereafter and gave her the son that she was asking for through her daughter, which was who? Jesus Christ. And not only did God give her the son, 
through her daughter, but made her son Christ Jesus, the Messiah, who was born without a father. The word of God and the spirit given to Mary from God. The Quran says that. So Jesus said, he will speak of me. Not only does the Quran speak of Hannah, not only does the Quran speak of Mary, not only does the Quran speak of the immaculate birth, the phenomenal birth, the miraculous birth of Jesus Christ, but the Quran also talks about his miracles. How he healed the lepers, how he caused the blind to see, how he caused the deaf to hear, how he caused the, those who couldn't speak to speak, how he caused the dead to be risen from the grave, how he fed the masses of 10,000 or more people from what? Seven loaves of bread and fish, and how he blew his breath into a clay pigeon and caused it to fly. How Jesus Christ did these miracles, God says, he did it by the power of whom? Himself or whom? By God. The Quran, does it confirm Jesus Christ? And fourthly, he said, it will remain with you forever. For it to remain with you forever, it has to be intact from the time it was revealed. It's the only book that was intact from the time that it was revealed. So the natural progression of the life of Jesus, the natural progression of the love of Jesus and his message, the natural progression of the gospel of Jesus, the natural progression of the life of all the prophets and the system given by all those prophets, the natural progression of that is the Quran. The natural progression is Islam. And that human example is the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him.